Coco Goff, nothing easy about that match. Describe what it was like to play it. Slow. No, um, <laughs> I mean, it was a tough match. I wasn't playing my best tennis. Uh, Laura, she's not an easy opponent. She fights to the end, and that's what she did today. Um, and, you know, I was able to overcome a lot of adversity, so I'm happy with how I played today, or happy how I managed to get through. What were some of the important tactical changes you made after the first set? Uh, I was trying to be more aggressive. She was coming to the net a lot, so I was trying to take that away from her. I think I lost the majority of the points that she went to the net, so I was just trying to be aggressive. I think I was playing too defensive in the first. It's tough. Uh, she slices a lot, so it's tough to, like, you know, be as aggressive as you normally would, but I was able to get, you know, try my best and get through. What's it like to play on a night when 50 years of equal prize money is being celebrated. Yeah, um, I'm really, really uh, happy to be a part of this organization, and I'm uh, truly thankful for Billie Jean King and the original nine uh, for all the work that they've done to push women's tennis and women's sports in general. Uh, so I was happy to be, you know, I'm happy to play here on the 50th anniversary of Equal Prize Money and hopefully, you know, we can continue to work and get that up for all the levels on the sport. Congratulations on getting through a tough match. All the best. Thank you guys and thank you New York for getting me through this match.